Hey, welcome back. This is Defender Chassis. My name's Scott. And what I'd like to show you today is how I lay out for a main hoop for a roll bar. Now, there's a lot of videos out there on how to, how to bend and install a, a roll bar, roll cage. And it's a lot of good information. And I'm not going to rehash all that, but what I'd like to show you is what I do maybe a little differently than what everybody else does. And this probably wasn't my idea originally. I probably, you know, this is probably a uh, copy of a uh, combination of what a lot of other people do. But I'd just like to show you how it is I handle it. Now, what I've got here is a roll of high visibility string, um, just like uh, Masons would use. You get this at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or hardware store, something of that nature. You know, typically they'd uh, tie a plumb bob to this and, you know, lay out. Uh, uh, foundation for a house or something like that, but it's nice uh, strong cord. And what I've got here is I've got that string in a position where I want the roll bar for this car to uh, to follow what that uh, what that pattern is. And what I've done is on each end I have got a uh, the string tied to the um, if I can get this out here. To a, to a magnet, just a uh, round magnet. Um, I don't know, pick these up at a swap meet or something of that nature. And what that allows you to do is to uh, place the one end of the string on, um, on the mark where you're wanting your uh, roll bar to land. Now, to get it tied up here, I'm not sure if it'll show you if, what it shows, but what I've got is some magnetic uh, bases. Uh, for like uh, machine work. You can pick these up at INCO or MSC or any of those kind of places. And they've just got a little articulating arm. And what I've done, let me, uh, let me pull one of these off of here. <clears throat> and what I've done, see these have got, these are just a, a magnet. They've got a little fine adjustment base on them. And you know, you can put another rod in here or whatever. But uh, you know, this, this screw loosens up and you can move this up and around and put it wherever you want. And so, you know, what I've done, these are just made in China. The, you know, I don't know what these things cost. They're 10 bucks a piece or something. But the magnets is, you know, the magnet's pretty strong. And what I've done is I've taken some 3 16 bar stock and I've formed a pigtail. And what that allows me to do is position these, you know, close to where, you know, that, that, that roll bar is going to travel. And then I can, you know, put my string, you know, through that. And then put some tension in it and you know position these wherever I want wherever I want that bend to be and then from there it's just a matter of you know taking your measurements and you know I know a lot of people don't have it uh, and if you're just doing one roll bar you're not going to uh, to go out and buy it but let me uh, I, I use Bentex software and uh, let me let me show you what uh, what the output from uh, from that software is once you get your dimensions where your roll bars I'll be right back Okay, so I'm on Bentec version six, and it's got templates for you know standard configurations, <clears throat> and you of course can, can go in and lay out your points and and you know go from point to point to point, but Bentec six has got templates in it, and you simply apply these dimensions, and that's what these dimensions is: thirty-five and a half, and ten and a half, and forty, fifty-three, uh, forty-six and three eighths. These are all dimensions that I measured after I laid this out with the string in this method that I've showed you. And so what it outputs then, you know, you apply, you know, what, uh, what, what tool you're going to use and what material and, and, um, and all that. And then it, it gives you a, um, it gives you a uh, bending formula, like a recipe in which you can, you know, cut the length of your tube and then you can measure uh, for each for each bend and then uh, you know bend your uh, your roll bar hoop so anyway that's what I do that's you know different than what a lot of other people see so I hope uh, maybe this helps you maybe gives you some ideas if you got an idea on how uh, to do this that uh, maybe is better than what I'm doing you know, if it works better for you, let me know. Give me a comment, uh, and uh, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, hit uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.